Whatever could you mean? Don't you... want to say a proper goodbye at least? Whether as a killer or as a father, there are two things that must be avoided at all costs. Anger and sorrow. Anger makes you impulsive. Sorrow causes you to waver. Well, it appears it's about time to proceed. I do believe I've kept my end of the deal. I give your friends... Here they are, Father. Oh, you gonna execute him? Lenny! I'm sorry. I heard about how you helped buy us more t but I still failed. I couldn't find a way- Huh? Are you- Indeed. It's been a while, Claire V. Perry! Shh, stay right there. I'm sorry to postpone our reunion, but first, I believe certain scores need settling. Father, let me explain. Out of my way. Father! You chose to conceal a threat to the house. And for that, you must be punished. Overall, however, I suppose your wrongdoing is hardly the most egregious of the bunch, so I'll deal by traitors. Father, let me explain. We didn't- Faults. Why don't you sh- Yes, Father. Secret Midnight Meeting Number 3. Nantoy clearly said, if only Father wasn't the one who took us in. Sato added, I'm s filial was the worst of them all. I did not! You're... you're... It's not like I'm the only... We're birds! You little... You just want me gone, don't you? What did I ever do to you? And you, Shaplo? Have you... F uh, <sighs> you're wrong, filial. We don't want you to die. Liar. We all live in the House of the Hearth. You know the type of... A single betrayal can cause... That's why the House of the Hearth cannot... T You've been spying on us? Filial... Nance, I owe you both my life. If this were any of... Why? That's enough, Filial. I'm sorry, Shaplo. Fultz. I'm sorry, Father. We... Shaplo. According to the rules of the House of the Heart. All those who betray the House. And so it shall be. <laughs> Father, please wait! Something you want to say, Linny. Please reconsider, Father. What Filial and the others did. Does it... We all come from broken... But the truth is... None of us know what a real home should look like. I'm not saying I have all the answers. All I know is this. Killing Filial and the others may uphold the rules, but doing so will only bring us further away from being... So please, Father. Please. I agree with Linny. Father, please. Linny, you... <sighs> I also agree with Linny. An order once given cannot be rescinded. However, given the extent of your determination, I suppose- Our weapons? Father, are you referring to a duel? Precisely. The rules of the house will not be altered. Traitors must be punished. However, Resolving disputes with a duel is also one of our rules, one that also applies to me. Demonstrate a sufficient showing of strength, and I shall offer a concession. Wait... Bede... Father in a duel? Impossible. Father is way too strong, even for Lenny. Did you hear that, Traveler? 
letting the others have to duel the knave. What should we do? Can they really win something like that? If they lose, those people from the house are really going to be executed. Hey, are you listening? Don't you want to say a proper goodbye at least? Anger makes you impulsive. Sorrow causes you to waver. Oh. Looking at that expression on her face, she seems really serious about this. When guests are around, families are often on their best behavior. When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate in the situation, and lend your help to the House of the Hearth. What's wrong, Traveler? Hey, where are you going? Traveler? You are asking to join the duel against the Knave? I'll allow it. We do have a ready-made dueling ring at our disposal, after all. All I would advise is this. Keep a firm grasp on your weapon, and give it your all. Any less. And you may just lose your life.
set. Only ruin remains. Watch out for Father's movements! Look out! You should know better than to crowd in one place. Sorry for what, this pitiful excuse for an attack. it out, did you? <laughs> You're stronger than I expected. A crimson moon? I can't move. Still, not strong enough to beat me. I believe we can end things here. It's not often that we get to enjoy the company of guests, after all. We wouldn't want things to get too out of hand. <coughs> Brother, are you all right? Lenny... Given that I am the victor of this duel, as agreed, the punishment stands. No! I never thought things would end like this. However, everyone involved in the duel demonstrated a remarkable level of strength and determination. 
In light of this, I'm prepared to change the method of execution. Elwar, the bottled flames I gave you for safekeeping. Do you still have them? E yes I wasn't sure what they were for, but I've kept them super safe. I didn't lose a single one. Wonderful. Then, in just a moment, I'll have you administer them. Bottled flames? Indeed. They're the product of a secret experiment. Under certain special circumstances, flames can be extracted from my person and preserved. Once ingested, searing pain will spread across every inch of your body. No harm will come to you physically, but your memories will be burned away. If you can withstand the pain. When you awake, you'll have forgotten everything you know about the House of the Hearth, and will be expelled from the organization. In other words, administering this concoction will kill the version of you that grew up in the house, and give you a new identity. Memory is a mysterious thing indeed. Losing a portion of your memories will alter your sense of self. So... you're just... letting us go, Father? You misunderstand. Memories are extremely important. Once consumed by flame, the version of you standing before me will die, and our secrets will die with you. So no, I don't intend to just let you go, because the person who survives will be nothing but a stranger. Even so, even so, I won't have to live in fear anymore. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry I let you down, but I... I really... Don't cry, Filial. You haven't left the house yet, so there are still rules to be followed, yes. Remember what I taught you. Anger makes you impulsive, sorrow causes you to waver. Don't let yourself be controlled by your emotions. Of course. I'll remember. Dry your tears, and go pursue the life you really want. Yes, Father. Chapleau, Foltz, Elwar. Take them back to Poisson. And bring Linny and the others as well. I prepared three extra vials of bottled flames. As for whether to take them, the choice is yours. Goodbye, children. The next time we meet, I will no longer be your father. Thank you for all you've done for the house. I hope you have bright futures ahead of you. Let's go. Here, grab my arm, Linny. I'll help- Thank you. Claire V. now? I've been waiting for a super long time. You really are Perry, aren't you? I haven't seen you in so long. How come you're all grown up? Wait, did I somehow travel to the future on accident? Or am I dreaming? <sighs> what a long dream. Neither. You died, Clairvy. That's what happened. You could have at least sugarcoated it a little! Look, she said speech- uh, Oh. 
Okay, then. Huh? That's it? You accepted it just like that? Yep. If that's what Perry says happened, then I believe her. Perry wouldn't lie to me. Plus, I don't really need to know why I'm like this. I'm more curious about what happens in the future. If you're a harbinger now, Perry, that means Mother is gone, isn't she? Can you tell me about it? I want to know what happened to her. And to me. You never stopped trying to defy fate. At first, no one believed you. You could only vent your frustrations to the moon. In fact, you often sought comfort in the night sky. You wanted to see the Aurora, so one night we promised each other. Later on, you tried to run away, but you were brought back each time. Mother spared your life, but it wasn't out of kindness. Instead, still, you never gave up. Mother hoped that through ruthless duel after ruthless duel, she would be able to crown an ultimate victor among the children she raised. But you called on everyone to unite to fight to a draw in order to reduce casualties. Your efforts may have only delayed the inevitable, but still. You gave them hope. You tried everything you could think of, but every attempt ended in failure. Still, you never turned your sword on Crucibina, and you never turned it on me. On that gloomy day, you told me, for the last 16 years of my life, I've done everything I can to fight for freedom. But now... I never imagined I would say something like that. I must have been feeling really worn down. But somehow... I still think I understand. According to Mother's plan, only one of us was going to make it until the end. And I always hoped that person would be you.